Though the process where the sticks are weighed um, was very fascinating. Vic Firth is willing and able to advertise our weight specifications and guarantee of matched stick pairs. Every drumstick goes onto a scale and through a straightness checking station. The sticks are fed onto a conveyor, which carries them past a scale and straightness checking station. Now again, the sticks are checked for straightness using the same techniques they were at the Dow sorting station, and anything that's not straight gets thrown away. The weights of the dowels are recorded in grams. As the sticks move down the conveyor, they are ejected into bins that represent weight categories of two gram increments. You know, watching, <laughs> watching this conveyor belt of sticks going down and, and, and seeing all these numbers flickering for, you know, on a computer, weighing every single stick, that, that was, you know what? That might have been one of the, the uh, most mind-blowing moments of today's journey. I had no idea that they were calibrating this down to decimal points. When you watch the sticks come off the conveyor belt, they're being weighed and then they're sorted into, you know, it's like an assembly line of different measurements of that weight so that they're fine tuning and getting the absolute most consistent weight possible out of the stick. Every stick on that belt, on that machine, and the computer memorizes a stick number, whatever, 2015 weights like 43 grams and it will be shot out, it, it will exit the, the transportation belt at the designated hole for 43 grams. Now we're talking about separating the weight in the sticks by two grams per, per box and over a very wide range of weight. As the sticks move down the line, it starts with the lightest and then they sit down for just a second and then whatever weight it is, it literally gets poked out into a bin. So if it's a little bit heavier, it'll move on down the line. A single model of stick is run through the sorter as a batch, which stays together through the remainder of the process. Even though there's a wide variety of weights available in the particular line, one, when you get that matched pair of sticks, those weights are going to be perfectly matched to each other. So this, the end result is you're going to get a perfectly matched pair of sticks. After being weight sorted, all the bins of the same weight are grouped together for tone pairing. The idea of guaranteeing a perfectly weighed and balanced pair of sticks seemed to satisfy a natural need for players. Yeah, the weight is, uh, is important to me. It's not just the weight, but it's for the amount of vibration. You know, if a, if a stick is too light or isn't dense enough, then when you hit it, you feel too much. You feel too much vibration from the cymbal, the drum. You, you can feel it coming back. Whereas if the stick is dense, it goes through you. And, and, and you can really place it dynamically where you want it and, and feel like it's true feel like what you're getting back is what you, what, what you intended. It's got to be right. It's got to feel right. It's got to be balanced right. And you got to be able to rely on it. They have to be the same weight. They have to have the same tone. And they have to have the same weight distribution within the stick so the balance has to be the same. You want a balanced, equal sound out of each hand. I notice, uh, you know, differences in weight I mean, it's, it's the fractions of a gram that I notice when I play. Um, and, um, and I never have these issues with Vic. I think you'll find that Vic Firth overall retains the highest quality. Uh, it's definitely the leader in the industry and probably, if not the best stick on the market today. I could pick out a pair like this, this pair right here, they feel balanced. I could pick another pair that might be a little lighter, but they still feel balanced, you know? It's not like, I never pick a pair from, from any of the Vic Firth packages I get, where one stick is heavy and one stick's light. You know, they're exactly perfect weight for each other. There's no a stick that's, that's more precisely matched than, than Vic Firth sticks. Um, so the weight matching and the pitch matching, you know, is absolutely incredible. Makes these sticks, uh, it just gets rid of all that headache. They were more balanced. 
and they felt better in my hands. When you're dealing with an inferior quality drumstick, the brain is incredible. It will make that physical adjustment to even out the tone. But that's not an issue with these sticks. You put them in your hands, not only does it help you, but it actually forces you to improve your technique because finally somebody figured it out. Sticks need to be balanced accurately uh, and they need to be weighted accurately. I can't tell you how many times I've listened to players play and the roll is uneven, their single strokes are uneven, and they are great players. It only takes me going to the sticks and checking for weight and pitch, and usually one of those two are not matched up. So with Vix sticks, it's nice that both of those qualities are taken into account so that never happens. It just feels right, and I think it's really super important uh, to pick up a stick, a pair of sticks that really fits well in your hand. If you're buying Vix sticks, you're getting sticks that were conceived by a great percussionist who knows the importance of weight, length, density. And if anyone is able to understand what's important in terms of, you know, feel and comfort, he does. What was the point of having straight sticks if they didn't weigh the same, have the same flex, the same moisture content, and identical pitch.